This is a special report. Obamacare exchanges are already being hacked. An Obamacare exchange has been hacked, and there may be more to come. John McAbee, founder of McAfee Inc., a world leader in cybersecurity, stated that the healthcare sign-up system is a hacker's wet dream. Avic Roy at Forbes also predicted massive identity fraud from the data hub used by the exchanges to determine eligibility for exchange subsidiaries and mandate penalties. And as the Press Herald notes, the administration had fair warning but ignored it. It's not as if and it's not as if nobody warned them. Just three months ago, a congressional GAO office spokesman said that a smooth and timely ro rollout could not be guaranteed because the online system was still getting finishing touches and had not been fully tested before the rollout. The Obama administration shugged off these warnings. These exchanges are a design nightmare as there is no central point of control. There's no central repository for the da data. McAfee states, here's the problem. It's nothing that software can solve. I mean, what idiot put this system out there and did not create a central depository? There should be one website run by the government. You go to that website, then you click on all of the agencies. This is insane. So I will predict that the loss of income for the millions of Americans who are going to lose their identities. I mean, you can imagine some retired lady in Utah who has $75,000 in the bank, saving her whole life, having it wiped out one day because she signed up for Obamacare. And believe me, he states, this is going to happen millions of times. This is a hacker's wet dream. I cannot believe they did this. If you sign up on these exchanges, you are providing all of your personal data, your bank account information, all your digitized medical records into a system that's got holes in it you can drive a truck through. These healthcare exchanges have already been hacked and you're not going to hear about this on mainstream news. The way the hacker community works is the bar has already been set. Many others are going to go out there to compete for recognition by hacking as many of these things as they can get to. Here, in this one article, it states that at another exchange in Minnesota, a Minnesota insurance broker was looking for information about assisting with Obamacare implementation. Instead, what landed in his inbox last month was a document filled with the names, social security numbers, and other pieces of personal information belonging to his fellow Minnesotans. He goes on to, the article goes on to say, as more health-related data is digitized, the privacy violations are going to be incalculable, Pyle says, an expert in health law who co-founded the law firm's powers Sutter and verbal. Forbes magazine, less than 1% of applicants contain sufficient information. It gets worse. Even if you manage to create an account on healthcare.gov, a painstaking, as I showed you in my last video, and time-consuming task, to say the least, you're not assured of actually being able to buy the plan you like. About half of the applications that they've received are corrupted due to incomplete data. And coming right out of DC's District of Criminals Technology blog, House Intelligence Committee Chairman Mike Rogers warned Tuesday that a federal hub of healthcare information is vulnerable to hackers. He goes on to say, there's no way on God's green earth they can secure that system today. The Data Services Hub, which is part of the President's health care reform law, is used to verify eligibility and share information between state exchanges and federal agencies. Rogers warned that the hackers could be able to break into a hub to steal health records, credit histories, social security numbers, bank account numbers, and other sensitive data to enable identity theft. Well, what are they telling us here? It looks like that all this data in these healthcare exchanges is being transmitted from hub to hub 
via open text or plain text. You'd best be advised to steer clear of these exchanges at all costs, unless you want all of your personal data, your banking information, social security number, date of birth, and all the other types of sensitive data they're requiring on these sites to be traversing across the web from hub to hub, from exchange to exchange, from broker to broker, in what appears to be clear text. Thank you for watching, and please share this video.